Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is about wiring a shaver socket. As you might know, the wiring regulations in the UK do not allow to install any standard 240 volt socket outlet inside the bathroom if the distance from the socket outlet to the bathtub or shower cubicle is less than 3 meters. The only allowable socket that can be closer to the bathtub is a shaver socket. It has a double wound insulating transformer, so it means that the socket is electrically separated from the earth. So in this video I'm going to show you two ways of wiring the shaver socket. Usually we install the shaver socket somewhere next to the wash basin, and that's correct, as the bathroom is a special location divided in safety zones. Zone 0 is the bathtub itself. And then we have the zone 1. Everything above a bathtub, up to 2 meters 25 centimeters, is zone 1. And we're not allowed to install the shaver socket. Zone 2 is the 60 centimeters wide area outside zone 1. And also around the wash basin. You are allowed to install shaving socket in zone 2, but obviously in a place where there will be no water splashes from the shower or wash basin. And there are two options of how the shaver can be wired. The first, most popular way is to wire shaver socket to the lighting circuit. Here is a typical lighting circuit uh, with three lamps. We can say that uh, each ceiling rows lamp and switch is in a different room. One millimeter cable from consumer unit runs to the first room ceiling rows, then from first one to the second and so on and finish at the last ceiling rows. Ceiling rows is a kind of junction box. At each ceiling row there are connections of four cables. Cable for previous room, cable that goes to the next room, cable to switch and flex cable to lamp. Only in the last room there are three cables in the ceiling rows as the circuit finished there. Let's say that the last room is our bathroom, where we have a ceiling rows with lamp pendant and pull cord switch and a shaver socket on the wall. So, if we want to connect our shaver socket to the lighting circuit, we need to run 1mm cable from the shaver to the ceiling rows where we have line and neutral wires. On the next picture, on the left you see the back of the shaver socket and on the right ceiling rows with three cables that are connected into terminals. So we run our cable from ceiling rows to the shaver socket. At the shaver socket we've got three terminals, earth, line and neutral. Earth wire from the cable goes to E terminal, brown wire goes to L terminal and neutral wire to N terminal. At the ceiling rows we've got four terminals, earth, neutral, loop and line. So earth wire goes to earth terminal, a brown wire goes to the loop and a blue wire goes to the neutral. I almost forgot to mention that the circuit with the shaver socket has to be RCD protected, in this case our lighting circuit. But there is a second option too. If you don't want to ruin your ceiling and walls, or the lighting circuit is not on RCD, you can wire the shaver socket to a ring final circuit that serves the rest of the rooms. And this must be RCD protected as well. Here is a layout of ring final circuit and next to it is our bathroom. So before wire to the ring, you need to install a fused connection unit FCU between the socket outlet and the shaver point and replace the 13 amp fuse with 3 amp fuse. The FCU needs to be outside of the bathroom. Then run a 1 mm cable from this FCU to the shaver socket. The cable between the ring and FCU should be 2.5 twin earth. And the last important bit I want to mention is the depth of the back box for the shaver socket. As the socket is quite thick because of the transformer, you need to install a 47mm back box. So in this video I showed you two options of wiring a shaver socket. Hope it helps. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you for watching.